Yeah, I know I said I wasn't going to make a video of the 36 until it was trimmed, but I wanted to show it off, man. It's looking good. Fish are doing well. And uh, I'll show you what. Uh, there's the baby tears. And uh, the red wind daddy crip. It's got a bunch of new growth. Hey, buddy. What's up? He's saying hello to everyone. Cherry barbs. All the glossostigma. There's another crip with a ton of new leaves on the bottom. I trimmed back all the Italian val. So I should start to see a lot of new growth on that. Mm, that'll be good. SAE doing his job. But all the barbs seem to be be chilling. Neon seem to be doing well. And of course, I, I love those fish. Just love them. But uh, I've been trimming this, this stuff back. I just trimmed it back and it's already back to the top of the tank. But uh, Temple Plant's doing good. There's all the neons. Hey dudes. Looking all fired up. Ooh, there's the other one. Oh, there. Bam. Cruising around. Enjoying the tank. Trim back the Rotala. It's already grown back. Trim back the penny wart behind it. It's about the same height now. Um, Mint Charlie right there. Bacopia right there. And uh, the Java moss came in a um, in a little in a little like plastic holder tube thing, and uh, it just hasn't like I don't know. It looks like looks shaggy almost. It's the best way I can explain it. But uh, it's I mean it's growing like crazy. But it looks that one just doesn't look as good as those ones do. That one looks nice and green. That looks like it's got algae all over it. So. But uh, it's rolling. I had to cut back the wisteria. There's a big ass nasty snail right there. He's lucky I don't get in there and crush him. But I'm not going to. See all the little baby guppies? Don't, they came in a bag of plants. That's, that's what the theory is. And they stay for now. They'll probably stay. I don't know. This tank's starting to get overpopulated, but... It's cool. I do uh, water changes and got a canister filter on it that's good for a 75 gallon tank. And then I got um, some salvinia that uh, is growing on the top. I bought a whole bunch of it, then I didn't like what it how it looked, tore it out, and I couldn't get it all out. And it's starting to reproduce. So I got a little bit of that in there, as you can see. Good flow on the top of the water. Lighting on this, baby. Some T5HOs. 5000K and a 67K. Gotta clean that shield off, it's filthy. But, uh, that'll, that'll be when it's, uh, when it's water changing time. I put the lid on it. it. Came with the plastic lids, so it kind of looks more uniform. I don't know. And um, let's see if you can see that. Uh, well, you can't really see it without the light on in the room. But uh, there's the canister filter. But uh, if anybody knows, um, you know how hard or easy it is to breed uh, cherry barbs, let me know. Um, I don't know. I think that'd be kind of cool. I know the dwarf rams. They lay eggs and then they eat them. They lay eggs and then they eat them. So, not uh, not not ho hoping for anything there. But the cherry bars would be kind of cool. I like those guys. But you see them. There's one. There's two males chasing each other right now. But uh, we're coming up on the five-minute mark. Anybody has any questions? 
Let me know. Comments, always welcome. Subscribers, of course, welcomed. And uh, check out uh, Mr. Mom Tanks, man. He's got he's got some good shit. So he's got some good info. And uh, hit me up.